Hi there, in this video I'm going to continue from the previous video and I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, the modulus or magnitude of a vector. So we're going to go through the modulus or magnitude of a vector. Magnitude or modulus means the size or the length of the vector. Okay, so modulus or magnitude of a vector. So let's have a let's underline that in red. So in this case, if you're given, supposing you're given a vector v, okay, so remember in the last video that arrow denotes it's a vector. If that is given by ai plus bj plus ck, okay. So then the modulus or magnitude, so modulus and magnitude they both mean size, okay, of the vector v and you could write that as uh, v with two vertical bars on either side so that, that denotes the modulus or the magnitude okay of your vector okay or you could simply write that as v read out the arrow so that also means uh, the magnitude or the modulus of v okay so that is given by so to work out the modulus or the magnitude of your vector what you need to do is you need to calculate the square root of so it's the square root of the coefficient of i, which is a, and you square that, okay, plus the coefficient of j is b, and you square that also, plus the coefficient of k, b, and c, you square that also, okay? So it's the square root of coefficient of i, square that, plus always in the middle, coefficient of j, which is b, squared at plus as always coefficient of k which is c and you square that okay so that is that is how you would work out the modulus or the magnitude of v and the modulus or magnitude is always positive so remember um, this this is going to give you a, a positive value because you're we're calculating the size or the length of the vector okay so let me box this. Okay, so this is how you work out the modulus or the magnitude of your vector. Okay, and let's try some examples. So, in example number one, okay, let's calculate the modulus for a couple of vectors. So, calculate. The modulus of V for the following vectors. So in part A, let's work out the modulus for this vector V given by 2i minus j plus 5k. So, in order to work out the modulus, remember it's a square root calculation and it's a square root of the coefficient of i and you square that plus coefficient of j square that also plus coefficient of k square that also. So, in order to work out the modulus of v, okay, so modulus of v is the square root coefficient of i is 2, square that, plus coefficient of j is minus 1, so you square that also, plus coefficient of k is 5, and you square that, okay? So if we simplify this, 2 squared is 4, minus 1 squared plus 1, 5 squared 25, Okay, so all of this is under the roots. Okay, 
and that will simplify to square root of 30. Okay, so that is how you would work out the modulus or the magnitude of the vector. Okay, let's try another example. So a part B. Okay, so let's do the same for this vector V. That is given by minus i plus 2j plus 2k. Okay, so in this case, in order to work out the modulus of that vector v, so I hope you can see that. So remember, it's a square root calculation, so let's introduce a square root. Coefficient of i is minus 1, so it's a minus 1 squared, plus coefficient of j is 2, so 2 squared, plus coefficient of k is also 2, 2 squared, okay? So also, remember, i, j and k, these are vectors, so they should have arrows on top, okay? So, if we continue the calculation, we'll have the square root of minus 1 squared is plus 1, 2 squared being 4, when you continue further, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, root of 9 equates to 3. Okay, so that is a solution for the modulus or magnitude of the vector given in part b. Okay, so that completes this video. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.